Good morning, my name is Tatiana, this is from Prodigy, and today we're going to be drawing using one point perspective and thinking about the house of our dreams. Think about your ideal house and pick a word for it. It could be a wood cabin or an apartment in a very important city, it can be a castle or it could be a trailer. It can be in the city or in the countryside. It might be near the sea or in the middle of a continent, inland, in a cold or warm climate. Choose a word for your ideal house and write it down on a paper. I'm going to write mine now. the first time that you thought about your ideal house. Could it be at a time when you wanted privacy and you were like uh, dreaming with the biggest space for yourself? Or when you were bored in your house and you were dreaming about um, going to a very busy city and full up with city life? Or it was when you were uh, tired of being rushed by the city life, and a very busy schedule, and you were dreaming about to go back to countryside and to be in touch with nature. Trying to remember the first time that I thought about the lighthouse as my ideal home, I remember that one day my father told me that one of his dreams was to live in a lighthouse. The dream of owning a lighthouse I borrowed from my father. A lighthouse for me is related to the love that I have for my father. And said that, definitely the most important thing in my ideal house is my family. Now I'm changing. My ideal house is whatever place where I can spend time with my family. Art is not 
finish until it's finished. You can work on an art piece as long as you feel you need it. So, so far, I only have the outline of my drawing, but I might probably decide uh, later to add colors or just to continue adding details with the black and white tones. So, don't forget, art is not finished until it's finished. Okay, this is all for today. This is from Prodigy. Stay calm, stay safe.